It's the discovery of a lifetime. Physicists have spotted gravitational waves churned up by two black holes locked in a death spiral deep in space. No one has seen such waves before, and they're about to open new eyes on the cosmos. Until now, scientists have learned about the universe mainly by studying light and other electromagnetic waves from space. But gravitational waves are ripples in space itself. They are set off by stellar cataclysms, such as massive neutron stars or black holes whirling together. I've made some discoveries in my own personal life with the science that you know, Pythagoras was searching for. I was able to open up the flower of life properly and find the real wave conjugations that we've been looking for for 10,000 years. Why would I continue, you know, walking on water for tips when I've got an entire generation to teach a whole new world? Well, let me put it this way. All energy in the universe is expressed in motion. All motion is expressed in waves. All waves are curved. So where does the straight lines come from to make the platonic solids? There are no straight lines. So when I took the flower of life and opened it properly, I found a whole new wave conjugations that expose the in-between spaces. That's, it's the thing that holds us all together. I'm going to be able to prove that gravity is only an effect and not a force. I'm putting something on YouTube really? where I will build the planet Saturn without gravity and build the Milky Way galaxy wow. without gravity. in my own personal life with the science. Searching for. So Pythagoras did this amazing job of taking math and geometry and tying it to music, which then led to the entire Western musical scale. Pythagoras' revelations regarding sound and music led him to speculate that the universe itself and everything in it is in a constant state of vibration. He theorized that there is a harmony throughout the cosmos and that even the planets emit their own unique sounds. When you look at the individual planet in our solar system and around the universe, radiation that's emitted in each planet will be in its own frequency range. We can convert that to an audible signal and think of each planet having its own signal or tone or music that goes with it. I was able to open up the flower of life properly. His three-dimensional version of the Osirian symbol starts with the vector equilibrium, a perfectly balanced force field with 12 equal energy lines radiating out. They stabilize its center like the 12 spokes of a wheel. The primary pattern of balanced energy flow around this structure is the torus. Here we expand to the next larger scale with a total of 64 pyramids called tetrahedra. If we then put spheres in representing the toroidal energy field surrounding each of the pyramids, and then we drop away the pyramids. We end up with a matrix that is, amazingly, an exact overlay for the Osirian icon, a three-dimensional model of the same pattern that was burned into the rock wall of the Egyptian temple thousands of years ago. And find the real wave conjugations that we've been looking for for 10,000 years. Why would I continue you know, walking on water for tips when I've got an entire generation to teach a whole new world. In sacred geometry, and especially this was by the Pythagoreans, this is the monad. 
It's the original symbol for um, the source of all creation. And one of the symbols that this is trying to describe is what I've talked about a few times now, which is the Taurus. Well, let me put it this way. All energy in the universe is expressed in motion. All motion is expressed in waves. All waves are curves. This is the way energy flows. Um, when I say the way energy flows, I mean that. All energy. So whether we're talking about the way the energy moves in at the galactic core, at the, in the solar system, in the sun, in the earth, which obviously aren't little spinning planets going around a central sun, but just the potential for the energy existing around that core, it moves in a toroidal fashion. And what it's doing is bringing energy in from the higher dimensions and literally taking energy out. So every single one of our atoms and in this whole reality, energy is constantly coming in and going out. We are supported by these higher dimensional realities. Constantly, the energy is flowing. I'm going to be able to prove that gravity is only an effect and not a force. Objects will follow the curvature of space-time and we, we interpret that as a force of gravity. It's an illusion is that uh, one would eventually like to know where it comes from. I'm putting something on YouTube where I will build the planet Saturn without gravity and build the Milky Way galaxy yeah. without gravity. Without gravity, we would fly off the planet. There would actually be no planet, of course, because the mass wouldn't have formed together into a planet and there'd be no solar system anyway because the sun wouldn't have the energy to have held itself together against the exploding forces inside of it. And of course, then there would be other forces of nature. So without gravity, the universe would just be completely flat and featureless and horrible. Uh, we're I didn't, I didn't look do it too well. Right. Trigonometry uh, is the, the platonic thing. solids. <laughs> wow. But wait, going uh, you thought that was it. It isn't, there's more. No. Lucius is in the house. Uh, Terrence Howard here. You made huge headlines when you said, after you complete these 15 episodes of Empire, you got to walk away for a while or forever? For good. I'm, I'm, I mean, everyone keeps trying to tell me, don't say it's forever. But I've spent 37 years pretending to be people so that people can pretend to watch and enjoy what I'm doing. That, that's a big remark. Yeah. What, what, what do you intend to, to do? Did you well, also say you're getting your star on? Yeah. On the Walk of Fame. On the Walk of Fame, oh, which is interesting. How am I getting a star when I've never, for a TV, when I've never received an Emmy nomination for TV? You're a presenter tonight. You can do whatever you want when you stand in front of that microphone. <laughs> what are you going to do? I have no idea. I'm just, I'm just being honest and looking at it. You know, I would think an Emmy nomination would come first. Well, there you are. I tried to change it. <laughs> right. Aren't you getting a star? He's rebuilding the universe. Right, you go, right. you get the star. star. So again, I think that will be an even uh, more widely attended oh, no, cover. No. Uh, he gets a star Tuesday on the Hollywood yeah. Walk. we got to be there. We really but he's rebuilding Saturn right. yeah. at that With last yeah. gravity. And no platonic yeah. solids. Yeah. I, I don't want to go viral. Right. This right. is, See, that, this that, is that, not that, that Actually, that is you. Like, the whole world is trying to go viral, and you don't <laughs> yeah, want to go no, viral. That's good. Please. Good for you. You're uh, being true to yourself.